Each morning you wake up and you have a choice to make. Whether you want to take advantage over every opportunity that you have, or whether you're just going to follow the same steps every day and not get better. It is very easy to become complacent, but when you do this, you're not only hurting yourself, but everyone around you too, by not reaching your full potential. When this happens, you need to think about how hard you work to get where you are today, and ask yourself, what motivates you? Achievement motivates me, because every day I wake up, I want to achieve my goals, so that's my motivation every day. It's my family, my teammates. My mom motivates me because I really want to make her proud, and she did a lot for me, so I want to make sure I can give that back to her. <laughs> my motivation is uh, fear, fear of letting my family down, and uh, fear of not living up to my abilities. Probably my religion, uh, and just staying uh, responsible and steadfast, and staying on the right path, and trying to be the best player and person I can be. My family, when they moved to America, they gave up a lot to make my dreams come true, so I just want to make them proud. My competitive nature motivates me. Winning motivates me because I don't like to lose. The people that help me along the way, not only my family, but just, you know, the coaches, the teachers, you know, the people on your, on your block that, you know, maybe give you a drink of water when you're outside working out. Like that, that little stuff motivates you because if people take a little bit of time out their day to help you along with what you're trying to accomplish, then, you know, that kind of puts air under your wings and gets you to the next destination where you're trying to go. Um, my two older brothers have been really successful so far in my life, so I just want to show them that I can do the same. What makes me is to avoid failure. I hate failure. Everything I do in life is to be successful. So everything I do is to prepare myself not to fail. And just be successful like my, my family members. What motivates me is my family and, and failing, you know. That's basically it. And just seeing other people being successful in life and I want that life, so I continue motivate myself and use that as motivation as well. I've worked so hard throughout my life and I just want to know that I have something to show for it at the end of the day. What motivates me is proving everybody wrong. I've always been counted out as a short little white kid on every team. Not the most athletic, not the tallest. And just working every day on my game in every aspect and just trying to be the best I can be. Uh, my name is so I can be successful throughout my life. Alright, I would say time and opportunity because I think in all that you do you have a limited am amount of time to do it. So I don't want to look back and be ask, what, ask myself what I could have done if I had tried harder or if I could have done that. I want to know that I did everything I can to like maximize my potential and I also think that in everything that you do is opportunity to not just do it but to do it well and to make a difference and a positive impact. So it's important to me that I do both of those things, reach my potential and make a difference. I, I challenge you to push yourself. See, it's easy to be on the bottom. It doesn't take any effort to be a loser. It doesn't take any motivation, any drive in order to stay down there on a low level. But it calls on everything in you. You have to harness your will to say, I'm going to challenge myself. I mean that what you did last week don't count. Today, today is the only important day. There are 86,400 seconds in a day. And how you use those are critical. You got 86,400 today. And what you do today is going to see me who you are. Nobody's going to talk about what you did last week. That the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. have this opportunity of a lifetime it means absolutely nothing if you don't take advantage of it in the lifetime of this opportunity i gotta say that when life knocks you down try and land on your back because if you can look up you can get up if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time your peace and your sleep for it. if all that you dream and scheme is about it and life seems useless and worthless without it See, it's time now. If you want to make this your decade, you've got to start saying yes to your life. You've got to start saying yes to your dreams. Yes to your unfolding future. Yes to your potential. As opposed to saying no. When you die, die on E. Leave no dream left behind, God. Leave no opportunity left behind. When you leave this earth, accomplish every single thing you can accomplish. Listen to me. You're going to be here one day. But you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. People are faced with adverse situations every day. When you face adversity, what will be your motivation to push you through?